Here's an example on using the inverse normal distribution function on your TI-89 calculator. So the problem that we have is find Z0 such that the probability of Z is greater than that value of Z0 equals 0 0.0918. So we're given a probability and we're trying to find this Z-score. We want to use a graphing calculator and round it to four decimal places. Always start these problems, first of all, because it's talking about z, with your standard normal distribution curve. That's part of showing your work, and it really helps identify, if you have an answer that's correct, thinking about zero as our mean here in the middle. We want the area bigger than some value, so we want the right-hand area equal to 0 0.0918. The mean is 50%. So if we need a value smaller than 50%, it's got to be up here in the tail somewhere. So this area is the given area. Now your calculator, and this works the same on your tables or in Microsoft Excel, only gives you the area to the left of that unknown z-score. So what we would do is take our complement rule. 1 minus 0 0.0918 is 0 0.9082. So all of this white area over here is 0 0.9082. So now we want to find the probability on our calculator. So I'm going to do this on the TI-89. Works very similar on the TI-84. We're going to go to the app called StatList Editor. And I'll zoom in a little bit here. In our stat list editor, we're going to want to go to F5, which is the distribution menu. And we want the inverse, that's going to go backwards and give us a z-score, and the inverse normal. And then we want to put in there how much area is to the left of our z-score we're trying to find. So we're going to put in here 0.9082. And because this is talking about z-scores, our mean is 0 and our standard deviation is equal to 1. So that's our answer, it's 1.3298. We're going back here to our z naught in our picture. That value right there that gives that top 0 0.0918 would be equal to 1.3298. Here's another example. Find two z-values so that 48% of the middle area is bounded by them. Use a graphing calculator and round the answer to four decimal places, separated by a comma if needed. Again, you're working with z, so it's a standard normal distribution. Draw your curve, label your mean at zero. It talks about the middle area, it's exact area, not just any middle area, exactly in the middle. We're trying to find the two z-scores then that would give us this middle 48%. Now your calculator only wants the area to the left of any z-score that we're trying to find. So we need to find how much area would be in that bottom tail. If we look at our complement rule, 1 minus 0.48 equals 0.52. 52% has to be split up into both of those tails evenly. So we were going to take our 0.52, divide it by 2, and you get 0.26. So 26% is in each of those tails. Then you're going to go to your StatList Editor app. Here's the StatList Editor. Hit Enter. Going up to F5 for Distributions. Inverse. Normal. Area. 0.26. 0 and 1 for the mean innovation. So we'd have negative 0.64. Now by symmetry, we know right away that the other z-score is going to be positive 0.64. And here your z-score is equal to negative 0.6433. That's this left-hand side. And from the symmetry, we also have positive 0.6433. So there's two answers there.